you look into the Macau market, actually you are looking into the China growth story. We have 1.3 billion people and getting richer every day. The Chinese government is determined to make export-oriented economy change the course into a more domestic economy. Consumption, uh, encouraging people to spend more is the key word now. Our customers is changing their tastes, their preferences change very rapidly. You take a look at Shanghai five years ago and Shanghai today. You take at Beijing 10 years ago and Beijing today, completely different. So I feel that in the next five years time, you will gradually see that you know Chinese customers will become more affluent, they will spend more, they will go out more. We want Galaxy and Macau to be different. There are already a few US-centric mega resorts in Macau. We do not want to duplicate whatever other people are doing. We have to find our own niche. And being an Asian company ourselves, we have decided that we should build uh, Galaxy Macau with a vision of world-class Asian heart. World-class to us means that we have to have a substantial size and with world-class amenities. Not only that, uh, it has to be sort of Asian-centric. This is why when we are designing exterior, it is palatial. It's all about uh, Asian DNA into it. Uh, we have all the lightings, all the landscape to make sure that people feel that they are in a tropical Asian resort. And this is why we have the wave pool, the biggest sky wave pool in the world. We have to take advantage of the biggest piece of land that we have in Macau and make it substantial, make it sizable, make it huge. We hope that we are going to offer our customers superior service, one that will touch their heart. There was a couple of uh, very key components to our success. I think first of all, you have to understand that we work in Asia. We have started working in China for 30 years. So we like to say that if there's one person that understands uh, the Chinese market well in Macau, that will be us. When we injected the gaming business into the company in 2005, we went to the capital market and uh, raised a 600 million US dollar bond uh, to uh, finance our business. Primera came into the company in 2007. And since then, uh, unexpectedly, there was a financial crisis. We took advantage of the situation and buy back part of the bond. And then in last year, we took advantage of the very favorable financial situations in Asia and raised 9 billion Hong Kong dollars uh, for us to continue. And subsequently, late last year, we have topped it up with a $1.38 billion RMB bond, uh, which was the first uh, non-financial uh, bond listed in the Hong Kong stock market. To me, it's all about profitable volume, right? Because even though you have the biggest market share in the world, if that doesn't give your shareholders their return, it doesn't go anywhere. I think the question is that, do we have the product that would attract people continuously to come to Macau. As long as we continue to build good product in Macau to excite the customers continue to develop as a world-class resort destination in the world, just start with alone. We're already doing about 40% of the gaming revenue in the entire Las Vegas Strip. Our aspiration is to become the leading Asian gaming and entertainment company. Primera, for the last few years time, has been a very good partner and we look forward to a continued very successful partnership in the future with them too.